Welcome to Bahasa Indonesia, Lesson 20D. 20D. Unfortunately, we have a sad story here. It's called Kabar Sedih. A sad story. Or sad news. Pada suatu kali, Parto pulang pukul dua malam. One time, Parto came home at two in the morning. Dilihatnya, semua pintu dan jendela tertutup. He saw that all the doors and the windows were closed. Dicobanya, dibuka pintu depan, tetapi itu juga terkunci. He tried to open the front door, but it was also locked. Beberapa kali, dia mengetuk pintu, tetapi paman tidak terbangun. He tried to knock on the door, but his uncle still couldn't be woken. Dia berdiri kedinginan di luar. He stood outside being cold. Sekali lagi, dia memukul pintu samping. He tried again to knock on the side door. Dia tahu bahwa paman tidur di dalam. He knew that his uncle was asleep inside. Tidak kedengaran juga orang bergerak. He didn't hear anyone moving. He couldn't hear anyone moving. Dia menetip, mengintip di lubang kunci. He spied through the keyhole. Apa yang kelihatan? What was seen? Semua lemari terbuka lebar. Lemari pakaian di kamarnya dan lemari makan. All the cupboards were wide open. The clothes cupboard in the, in the room and the food cupboard. Dia terkejut, lalu berteriak. He was shocked or surprised and then yelled. Suaranya kedengaran oleh tetangga. His voice was heard by the neighbor. Mereka lompat, melompat keluar dan Parto menceritakan apa yang dilihatnya. They jumped out and Parto told them what he had seen. Bersama-sama mereka membuka pintu masuk. Together, they opened the front door. Pertama sekali mereka mencari paman. At first, they all looked for the uncle. Aduh! Apa yang kelihatan? Oh my! What was seen? Paman terbaring di lantai, di muka tempat tidur. Mukanya berdarah. Uncle was lying on the floor in front of his bed. Blood on his face. Mereka semua ketakutan. They were all scared. Paman sudah tidak, bernawa, tidak bernyawa lagi. Uncle was dead. Buru-buru mereka memberitahu polisi. Quickly, they told the police. Polisi mengadakan pemeriksaan. The police held an investigation. Rupanya, paman tertembak mati satu jam yang lewat. It's, it was apparent that the uncle had been shot an hour earlier. Barang-barang berharga di dalam lemari semua dicuri. All valuable, valuable items from the cupboards had been stolen. So a bad note to end this lesson on. Vocabulary. Adu. Ouch or out. Adu can mean anything. It can mean something that feels very good. It all depends on how you say it. A very, very interesting word, adu. You kick your toe, adu. If something tastes very good or is feeling very good, you say, adu. So it all depends on how you say that word. Akal, mind. Berharga, valuable. Dara, blood. Demikian, so. Gemetar, to tremble. Kehilangan akal, to be desperate. Letusan, explosion. Lobang, hole. Nasib, fate. Nyawa, soul or life. Pemberontak is a rebel. Pembukaan is opening. Pemeriksaan is an investigation. Dikte, to dictate. Puas, 
satisfied, rombongan group, samping side, sehingga so that, selimut blanket, tebal thick, terbaring to lie down, tepat exactly, teringat to remember, terpaksa compelled, tertahan bearable, tertawan imprisoned or captured, ketuk mengetuk to knock, intip mengintip to peep, iring mengiringi to accompany, ulang mengulang to repeat, that really should be mengulangi, pimpin memimpin to lead, putar memutar to turn to turn on, susul menyusul to follow. Good luck with it all, and until lesson 21, salamat belajar.